All right, so at this point, there are at least 20 5G capable phones in India, but we cannot use them to their best potential simply because there is no 5G infrastructure in India. And the fact that companies are releasing 5G phones without the infrastructure, it is a bit confusing and there's a lot to talk about. And by the way, this also applies to a country where 5G phones are being released but there is no infrastructure for 5G yet. So this also applies to your country if your country falls under this category. So let's start with some science, some extremely basic science. I'm not the best in science and even I understood it. And I'll try my best to make you understand this whole thing. So data can be transferred using radio waves, the same radio waves that are used in FM radio, then Bluetooth earphones and in mobile phones. So in phones, there are three basic categories of radio waves. There is the low frequency radio waves, there is the mid frequency radio waves and finally there is the high frequency radio waves. Low frequency will have low speeds but the range will be the best among radio waves. High frequency will have the perfect balance of speed and range and high frequency those will have extremely crazy speeds but the range will drop if you just cross the street. I am so sorry if you did not understand anything. I'm so sorry but if you did not understand any particular part of this video then just rewind to the part that you did not understand. It's completely fine. I'm so sorry again. Anyway, coming back. So there are low frequency 5G signals, there are mid frequency 5G signals and finally there are high frequency 5G signals. Further, these 5G signals are of various types like 50 or maybe more than 50 and each of those bands fall into either of the low frequency, mid frequency or high frequency. These 50 types of 5G signals that I talked about, they have names like N1, N3, N5, N50, N75, N80, like all sorts of names. And this is where the problems sort of start. See, when a phone supports 5G, what they are implying is that that phone supports those 5G bands like those uh, low, mid or high frequency bands. Budget and mid range 5G phones generally only support either the low frequency bands or the mid frequency bands or both of them and flagship phones generally support all three of the bands. So how the manufacturers decide what kind of 5G bands to put in a device is depending on what the government has announced the bands in the country will be. And here's the problem. In India, the government has not yet announced as of making this video, what kind of bands will be used by the service providers in their network towers. All that we know is that the rollout of 5G will start in the halfway of 2021 and that Jio and Airtel are the front runners for installing 5G towers. In fact, Airtel has already started testing their 5G towers. Anyway, coming back, we don't know what type of bands are going to be used by the government. So why is this a problem, you might ask? Well, in budget and mid-range devices, there's a limit to how much bands that you can put because, you know, there's a price limit, right? So the manufacturers have to take an educated guess on what kind of bands will be used in the country in the future. For example, the Moto G 5G has 11 bands, which is quite a lot and is very good for Moto, whereas the Metanai 5G only has two bands, whereas the Oppo Reno 5 Pro only has nine bands. You are starting to see a pattern, right? It is highly inconsistent. So it can quite possibly happen that the two bands of 5G used in the Meter 9 won't be used by the government when the rollout of 5G starts and also, although it is not very likely, the nine bands of the Reno 5 Pro won't be used by the government when the rollout starts. So say that you spent your hard-earned money on, say, the Meter 9 5G especially for that 5G and what if when the government announces the rollout of 5G it doesn't support 5G it'll be a shame right by the way if you're watching this after the government has started the rollout of 5G and has announced the bands then just make sure that you check which all bands of 5G the device that you are eyeing on supports if you are not able to find out then just leave me a message on Instagram or Twitter I'll be more than happy to help you out. The links of that both will be in the description. Am I saying that you should not buy 5G phones? Actually, almost. Don't buy a phone simply because it has 5G. Don't buy a phone for 5G. Just consider it as a bonus. 
or the 5G will arrive this year, it will take at least 2 to 3 years for it to reach everywhere. So say if you are not living in a metropolitan city, then it will take at least 2 to 3 years for you to experience 5G. By that time you will be in the midst of buying your next phone considering that an average person uses their phone for 2 to 3 years. So don't fall for that 5G gimmick. Also just if you liked a phone very very much, just go and buy it whether it supports 5G or not. Thank you so much for watching and consider hitting that sweet red subscribe button if you haven't and also that thumbs up button. Also if you want me to make any video that you would like me to do then just let me know in that comments down below and if you have any recommendations or suggestions let me know that too in the comments down below. That's it for today. Hope you liked it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. So data can be transformed. Transformed. <laughs> All that we know is that 5G 